What is going on everybody? So today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're gonna compare Alnico 2, Alnico 5, and Alnico 8 magnets. You're gonna get to hear them back to back in a demo. And then I have a pretty cool surprise for you. Something that people on this channel have been asking of Dylan Talks Tone for quite a while. So we'll talk about that. I wanna do a series of videos that is uh, talking about some of the, and, and isolating some of the pickup factors, right? So you've got wire diameter, you've got magnets, uh, you've got coil dimensions, you got all these various dimensions that go into making pickups. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to isolate them. And the cool part is I have this guitar, this Somnium guitar from Florida, and it's got these this way that we can put these pickups in cartridges and swap them in real quick, right? And put them in different positions and swap them in and out. So what we're gonna do is today, I've got uh, El Nico 2, El Nico 5, and El Nico 8 magnets over there on the, the bench. And so we're gonna use the same pickup uh, and we're gonna just swap the magnets in and out so that we don't have to rewind anything. There's no variance in, oh, you wound that one a little different or it's, you know what I mean? So we're gonna use exactly the same pickup uh, to take it apart, put it back together. So the numbers on magnets, uh, two, five, eight, and then we, there's three in there too, but I don't have any threes with me today. They're different strengths, basically. So if you, the, the way I get these magnets is I just get them in a box. They're not magnetized yet. They don't stick to anything. They have no magnemotive force. That's the sucking action of a magnet. Uh, and we have to put them between two magnets and we magnetize them. The number is the kind of the maximum strength that they will get to. So a two won't get as strong as a three, won't get as strong as a five, won't get as strong as an eight. And no matter how much you try to magnetize them, they'll only get to a certain strength. So for example, if you look at this El Nico 2 magnet that we have on the bench over there, you see it's in the 300 range. So this is a gauss meter, so 300 gauss. Um, that's the strength of the magnet. Tesla is also another magnetism strength. That's a multiplier. Uh, so you have about 300 on a two. And then if we put the five in there, what is this, about 700, something like that. So it's uh, more. And then if you put an eight in there, now we're pushing like 1200, almost 1200. And so of course, the size of the magnet, the length of it, all those sorts of things matter, like in a single coil, we could get into that in another video. But for humbucker magnets, we're looking at the same exact dimension of magnet, just different strengths of magnetism that these pickups can, or that these magnets can make. So it's a major factor in what you can do to change the tone of a pickup. Let's go two, five, eight. Listen to it and tell me what you think.
right, so after listening to that stuff, what did you think of it? I'm not gonna give you my opinions on anything because I think this is one of those things you have to just kind of compare for yourself. Uh, technically, we're gonna just talk about a little couple things. Compression is a big thing. So when the, when the note goes into the amp, this is the simple way to say it, but when the note goes into the amp, it can only expand so much until it can't anymore, especially on a low wattage amp like the Princeton. And so it starts to compress, it like clips off the top. The rate at which it does that and how it does that changes with the magnetype. I don't know if you noticed that from the first sample to the last sample, they compressed completely differently. In fact, with the last sample, it was almost like you couldn't get clean. It was just really compressed. The A2 magnet does this differently and it doesn't just compress and make distortion earlier, but it actually changes the frequencies that it compresses at, if that makes sense. And so you get uh, a different fullness of note. It's just a different frequency response between the three pickups, the two, five, and the eight. And they vary a little bit, and it's just kind of fun to experiment. Uh, one of the things I would like to tell you about is the fact that uh, I've never made an A2 humbucker before. And so, I give you, for the first time at Dylan Talks Tone, the Thruxton Humbucker.
Uh, for those of you that don't know, all of our pickups at Dylan Tuck's Tone are named with some sort of motorsports nomenclature because I'm a gearhead, mostly motorcycle um, influenced. And so I figured since uh, Slash is from England that we would use an English name that had something to do with Twin 2, because it's not legal, 2, Thruxton, Racetrack, Triumph Motorcycle with a twin in it named, see what I'm saying? I kind of just go all down the rabbit hole with this stuff. So this is the Dylan Talks Tone Thruxton. It is available at the website right now. I'm really proud of this thing. I actually made myself a pair to put in a, in a guitar for myself. Uh, I hope you get one. They're gonna be available in the classic Zebra. They're gonna be available in black in all of our other color uh, options. And I should mention that over the next uh, couple of days, you're gonna see this Zebra roll out to our other humbucker options as well. So you'll be able to get the DAF, the Center Punch, the Super 8, and all those things in Zebra as well. We're gonna start doing that because people have been requesting that. But this I'm really, really proud of. This is a super cool thing. Uh, and I, I don't know. This is something I've been probably meaning to do for a while. Maybe I've been putting it off. Maybe I've been bucking against it because it's not been my favorite. But man, the more I play it, the more I like it. And uh, uh, maybe I'm playing different now. Maybe I'm listening to different things these days, but I don't know. I just really, I really, really like it. So I hope you like it too. Uh, it's good. It's about uh, eight and a half K Alico 2. It's pretty cool. I think you'll like it. Hey, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. All the things that you do when you watch a YouTube video. Uh, support the channel with some of the links that we have below and directly support the channel by purchasing a pickup at Dylan Talks Tone if you would. That'd be super cool. Uh, make sure you know that we have uh, new videos coming out almost every day. We got one coming out Monday. We've got a podcast live on Tuesday. We got news on Wednesday. We got a live stream on Thursday. And every once in a while, like this, we'll throw in a bonus video on Friday. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you in the next one.